Well, ladies and gentlemen, the offense was just nowhere to be seen. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Phillies Hot Stove Media, and today we're going to recap in tonight's game between the Philly Phillies and the New York Mets as the Phillies lose 2 to nothing to the Mets as they get shut out, uh, their first you know, shutout of the season. Uh, so nothing out of the bats tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Not a fun game to watch. Just so boring. I mean, a lot of strikeouts. And I guess before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. This video is also brought to you by All Things Phillies. All Things Phillies provides a daily video of highlights from the game. So please go subscribe to his channel. Link in the description section. Uh, so I apologize for you know not being my normal self uh, with my voice. I've not been feeling great the past couple of days. Uh, you know, had a lot of allergy problems this time of year. It's very, very, uh, this year kind of is different. I mean, last year I really didn't have any problems. For some reason this year I've just been really struggling uh, with the allergies. So I apologize for that. Our mild-tempered uh, video tonight, but I'm definitely annoyed. But there's no question about that. I'm definitely annoyed at the way this team has played. And, I mean, even last night, I mean, we have a five-run bottom of the eighth inning. If we wouldn't have done that, we would have lost again. Uh, so, I mean, this offense really hasn't looked anything spectacular. And, uh, do you see the irony? Uh, do you see the irony about how this bullpen has actually been very, very good? It's been very, very good, and this offense has been very, very sluggish. I mean, if you take away Kyle Schwarber's home run on opening day, uh, that leadoff home run, I mean, what has he really done? He's done absolutely nothing. He's been totally avoided at the plate. Um, and Bryce Harper, man, I mean, he's just swinging on top of everything. I mean, I understand that there was some, he's going against some nasty sliders uh, there in the bottom ninth inning against Edwin Diaz. Uh, Edwin definitely was, was on tonight. Especially with his fastball, you know, you know, 100 plus man. I mean, just absolutely nasty, just devastating. A, a guy that I would definitely not want to face. Uh, but I mean, like, it, it just he just looks so behind. He doesn't look comfortable. He looks uptight. And to be honest with you, he doesn't look very healthy, right? He doesn't he doesn't look very healthy. Uh, so not been impressed with him uh, to start off the season. Of course, he did collect the knock tonight. Waste a nice season debut for Zach Lee. We waste a, a very good bullpen tonight. I mean, let's give this bullpen some some credit. I mean, this bullpen was great tonight. I mean, let's not forget that this bullpen was very, very good tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot forget that Jerry's Familia. I mean, it looked like the, the vintage Jerry's Familia. I mean, this was just incredible, man. I mean, like, he had everything working. The slider, the sinker. He had everything working tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He was, was absolutely dealing. Uh, so there's no question about that. As we pick up the scoring summary here in the tab in the fifth inning, Brandon Nimmo homers on a fly ball to right field. His first of the season. And it's one nothing New York here in the fifth. So off of Zach Wheeler, I mean, that was pretty much his only mistake of the ball game. And it came against a guy that's not a power hitter at all. I mean, Brandon Nimmo, not a power hitter. Uh, and uh, he definitely got a hold of that one uh, for his first of the season, making a one to nothing ball game. Uh, so at that point, I mean, still, I mean, no offense. I mean, no heart. I mean, it's just like, I mean, maybe a little push there in the bottom of anything. But, like, our, our big guys just didn't come up. We'll talk about Reese in a little bit. I mean, a terrible at bat in the bottom of the ninth inning. Interesting because... Dylan Power, Phillies Update, texted me, I think, yesterday. He said, you know what? I mean, this was before we came back from a, from a 4 nothing uh, deficit. Uh, and he texted me, he said, you know what? I think we all know that this team was going to show their true colors, but really this early? I mean, did we really think it was going to be this early? Um, and uh, that's all the exact same thing. Uh, you know, we pick it up here in the tap of the eighth inning. It's Francisco on door. The guy has done absolutely nothing since... Uh, joining the, the New York Mets as he singles on a ground ball to right field. And Soren Maite comes around to score as the Mets now take a 2 to nothing lead. The offense didn't show up. The entire pitching staff tonight gives up two runs. Two runs. And we score nada. I mean, so that's a problem. Believe me, I understand this Mets team is no slouch. Happy your final 2 nothing. Uh New York and uh, Carol Schwarber, another rough performance. Hitting 111 through the first five games of the season. Uh, he's just not been there. 516 OPS, terrible. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised as I just goes to show you that he gets a, has a great ability to get on base and draw walks. When you have a, a 111 average and a 516 OPS, I mean, of course, I mean, both terrible, but uh, the OPS is a little high for a 111 average. Two minutes are actually a pretty good night tonight collecting two hits. Uh, I was actually pretty impressed with him. I mean, some aggressive base running there in the bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, he has speed, right? I mean, a, a great effort by Francisco Lindor on a ground ball, a sharp of the hit ground ball by Nick Castellanos. And uh, JT Rizzo was able to get the second before the throw got there. Uh, and uh, JT definitely looked good today. Bryce Harper, uh, of course, did collect one knock. He managed to do that. I think he's 100% healthy, to be honest with you. He's swinging on top of everything. I mean, uh, you saw that slider, a couple sliders by Edwin Diaz. He just, he's late. He's behind. He doesn't look in the zone. Uh, he's over swinging like you can't believe it. And a couple of these pitches by Edwin Diaz, I mean, 
not really hittable pitches, and he's swinging out of his shoes, like looking like a fool up there. Uh, I understand it's easier said than done, but just like relax. Like the home runs are gonna come. Like you don't even need a you don't need to hit a run every single time. Uh, his first at bat, he was robbed out of a call, a pitch that clearly, clear as day, was a ball. Broadcast, like Tom McCarthy and John Gregg are like, oh, I'm not really sure that was a ball or strike. You know, tough call. I mean, here's the line, here's the ball. It's clearly a ball. It's clear he did not uh, touch the line. Um, and I understand umpires are going to make mistakes, but he, he shrugged his shoulders as he should have. I mean, that, that was not a strike. He was kind of on the receiving end of a bad call, but still, I mean, he has not played good baseball this year so far. He only threw five games, but uh, Nick Castellanos with that sharply hit infield single. A great effort by Francisco Lindor, but he comes up short. It was the only hit uh, tonight for him. And Reese Hoskins, there's a pitiful at bat there in the top of that inning. I mean, like, come on. I mean, you have a couple sliders on the outside part of the plate, and I understand that, you know, it's, it's a slider, so it's going to be very, very deceiving for a hitter. Uh, but to, he wants to pull the baseball. He wants to pull the baseball. He wants to pull the baseball. He wants to get everything out the left field. Everything out the left field. I mean, it's on the outside part of the plate, and he's trying to pull it. Instead of just hitting it to right field, instead of just taking it where it is thrown. It's hitting out to right field. He's really, in, in, in a sense, trying to hit a ground ball right to the third base because that's what would happen if he were to make contact or he hit a, a pop-up a mile high in the infield they got you. His approach is not good. I mean, his approach just isn't there. Uh, so uh, I'm very, very disappointed with Reese today. I mean, he's, he's been arguably you know, our best hitter so far this year for the first five games. Uh, and he definitely took a step back today. I mean, of course, everybody has an off night. Dita Gregorius uh, definitely with an off night. And Bryson Stott gets to start at second. Uh, not much out of him. And his bat definitely went cold today. And Juan Camargo gets to start at third uh, and collects a knock. And Simon Mazzuti definitely providing some good defense out there in center field, covering a lot of ground as uh, so he got to start in center. See Al Cohn get a standing ovation uh, from the Phillies crowd uh, tonight as he pinched it for Simon Mazzuti. I mean, uh, they kind of just, you know, turned down the, uh, the TV broadcast and they just had Dan Baker's voice and, you know, of course, his walk-up song, you know, famous by Kanye West. He had a very, very nice standing ovation from the Village crowd. So there you go. It kind of cleared the air a little bit. I'm sure that brought him some peace of mind. Uh, he definitely was beating up on himself for the comments that he made. And, you know, he definitely should be proud of that, as I talked about in my breakdown video this afternoon. Uh, but uh, it was kind of nice to see that. I kind of I kind of like that. That kind of was one of the highlights of the night. And uh, Zach Weaver start four and two-thirds, two hits. Run, run, run was earned. One walk and three strikeouts. Of course, the only one he allowed was the home run by Brandon Nimmo uh, out to right field. Other than that, he looked very, very good. And here you go again. Uh, more babying. I understand the pitch count was high. Uh, and uh, obviously, the pitching staff was not the reason why we lost this game. Uh, but Joe Girardi definitely liking to, you know, baby our players. Uh, so you see more of that. And Chris Sanchez, a, a very solid two and two thirds. I was just so impressed with him. Of course, he was charged. Uh, with the earned run, of course, Connor Brogdon didn't allow the RBI single by uh, Francisco Lindor, but the run uh, was uh, charged to uh, Chris Sanchez, but he looked very, very good tonight. You know, striking out three and two and two-thirds. And Jerry's familiar. He was dealing tonight there in, in that top of the ninth inning. Uh, I love, love, love what he has done so far in the Phillies uniform. I mean, like, it's just crazy. As his first, like, one or two appearances in, in spring training, he's been absolutely dominant. Uh, so his stuff looks like the vintage... Uh, you know, 2015, 2016 stuff uh, from Jerry's familiar. I mean, just filthy, downright unfair, unhittable stuff. Uh, so uh, that'd be your ball game. Two nothing issue final score. I apologize again uh, for just not not being really able to talk. I mean, I just I, my my voice is just so sore. It's just I, I don't really feel that great. Uh, and I'd love to kind of get into this, and I just I really would. I just really wanted to go off tonight. I understand it's so early in the season, but this loss definitely frustrates me. I mean, like, our offense, like, going to sleep. I mean, do you see the irony as a drug at the beginning? I mean, the fact that the bullpen uh, and the whole entire pitching staff, for that matter, has been great. It's been very good. I mean, we have this offense. I mean, you know, Nick, uh, Kyle Shore is striking out like every other at-bat. I mean, Bryce Harper, you know, swinging late, swinging on top of pitches. Uh, Nick Castellanos hasn't been great. Uh, so uh, this offense has definitely been underwhelming thus far. Uh, hopefully that changes. I that this Met team is no slouch. Uh, but we need to do a better job. We need to do a better job than this. And we made Edwin Diaz a guy that I'm really not a big fan of. I understand his stuff is good. We have the fastball. I can, you know, throw it the high I understand the slider is just downright unfair. But he's a choker, especially going against us. Am I right? We need to bounce back tomorrow and get a series win. And we're going against Max Scherzer, a guy that struggled uh, going against his former squad in, in the Washington Nationals. Uh, 1-0 with a 4-5-0 oh, ERA. Going against Aaron Ola, who's also 1-0 with a 6 ERA. Uh, so if we can get a win tomorrow afternoon as we go take a look at some of the scores 
uh, throughout uh, the league. I'd like to congratulate Juan Soto of the Washington Nationals uh, for hitting his 100th career home run. So big congrats to the kid, uh, the uh, childish Bambino Juan Soto on hitting his 100th career home run. I mean, that's a quite the accomplishment. Uh, you know, at such a young age, uh, so he definitely should be proud of that. Um, so the Nationals, man, I mean, they're just getting absolutely killed, 14-3 at this time of this video. Um, and they're, they're breaking out those red uniforms, right? I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, Mike Calfranco uh, going off last night. Uh, this That was just crazy, right? He launches the home run. I mean, it's weird to see Cesar Hernandez in the Washington Nationals uniform. It's kind of cool to see Franco and Cesar uh, on the division rival Washington Nationals. Uh, of course, they're not any good. That's the situation down there in Atlanta. Of course, the Nationals did win last night, uh, but they're definitely not going to win tonight. Uh, you know, it's pretty much uh, set in stone right there. The Angels defeated the Marlins 4-3 today. So Marlins definitely a rough start to their season. Of course, they weren't expected to do anything anyway, uh, but they start off the season with a 1-4 uh, record. So they're definitely not starting off too well. But this Phillies team, I mean, the... The, the, the biggest thing that they did in the offseason, uh, which was tack up the offense, this is, which, this is what really hurt them today. I mean, the defense was solid. The pitching staff was solid. I guess it wasn't solid. The offense. Uh, the offense was not solid. You know what I really find interesting is we all hit them. Five to three. Uh, so neither team really had uh, a lot of offense tonight. Uh, but the, the Mets just happened to put more things together than we did. And uh, they got the long ball. Uh, and you know, they got Francisco and Dor, uh, you know, you know, hitting an RBI single to drive in uh, starting Marte. This loss definitely annoys me. I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, I would have loved to grab a win here. This was a winnable game. Kind of reminded me of losing 4-1 to one to the Oakland A's on Sunday, to be honest with you. This is just a flat loss. This is, uh, any way you want to look at it, just a flat loss. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't that yet. Please join the bell. Please like this video, comment under this video, share this video. Check out the social media link in the description section. Billy's Hats of Media, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at Piazza Media. Call or text 267 225 3292. Email me, Philly's Hats of Media at gmail.com. I apologize for just not being energetic and not having that voice. I just, I, I hate feeling like this. It's just terrible. Oh, I hate it so much. So I can't wait to get back to my normal self, hopefully soon. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phil's. One of five, Scherzer and Noah. Let's get a series with tomorrow. I'll see you.